Welcome back, everyone. You may be in a situation where your Joy-Con buttons on your Nintendo Switch are just not working. Now, this can happen for a few different reasons, like I always mention, but the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you connected your Joy-Cons properly to your Nintendo Switch. So what you can always do, just to verify, you want to make your way over to your home screen, and if it seems like your Joy-Cons are connected, you want to go ahead and click on the little Joy-Con button, which is right here on, under controllers. So go and click there, and you should be able to see a breakdown of your Joy-Cons that are currently connected. So you can see that right there, it does recognize that Joy-Con here, and it does recognize that Joy-Con there. So watch what happens if I go and disconnect this Joy-Con. You can see it doesn't even detect it. So currently, if your Nintendo Switch Joy-Con does not show up like how it showed up before and it shows up like this, and if it doesn't show up like that, well, that means this specific Joy-Con is not being recognized, and you may want to go ahead and either try pairing this controller just like how I have it right here as player one, as of this specific controller, see if it works there. You may want to also double check that the specific port inside of your specific Joy-Con is fully functional and you may want to go ahead and clean it out with maybe like a napkin and get as much dust and stuff stuck out there. You want to go ahead and after that connect it back in and you should be able to be good to go for the most part. Now there can be some situations where the buttons are faulty so you may just want to double check like for example if the specific Joy-Con up here is working but these buttons aren't working or this Joy-Con is working but maybe these buttons aren't working or maybe this button is not working or maybe the home button is not working then you may have to go ahead and troubleshoot a little bit further but another thing you can always do is make your way over to your home screen here you can click onto your settings panel right there and, and under your controllers and sensors panel you can click here and you may be able to find a little update for your specific controller so if there's a little update controllers panel click there and you want to see if there is an update available as you can see, all my controllers are up to date, but if there is an update available for your controller, go ahead and update it, and that should be able to fix it for the most part. So, that's pretty much it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video.